Now to the education equation, our continuing look at the return to school. Next month, Mississippi colleges and universities will be welcoming back students, and they've had to make serious changes. Tonight, we visit a small local college to see what they're doing to ensure a safe return. On May 13th of this year, Millsaps College announced it would be open for fall semester, and by all accounts, it seems on target to do just that. Millsaps College is perfectly suited to, to handle these sorts of challenges. Annie Mitchell chairs the Campus Readiness Committee. I can tell you that we have been working on these plans for months. The plan is detailed, based on CDC and State Department of Health guidelines. Millsaps feels prepared and confident to welcome students back in late August. We're currently working on our um, isolation and quarantine plans. So more than likely what that's going to look like is uh, an independent residence hall. Uh, the CDC and um, our, um, the, the folks with whom we've been um, talking at the health department recommend um, that we hold you know, five to 10% of our student population and that we, that we uh, allow for um, that in anticipation of students that um, test positive. All classrooms are reconfigured to meet social distancing requirements. We're also uh, shortening the time of our classes by 10 minutes to allow for um, reduced, um, uh, to, for our students to be able to clean their workstations. They'll be given sanitization and um, m wipes and materials so they can wipe off their areas both before and after class. The campus is blanketed with signage, visual reminders to wear masks, which is required of all faculty, staff, and students, and to social distance and practice effective hygiene. The dining hall will now be only for students, and while the all-you-can-eat option remains, a to-go format will be used. So they can come in, basically grab and go, and then they can eat their food in appropriate social distancing settings. Mitchell says Millsaps College is more than just academics, and the Student Affairs Department is looking critically at ways to offer that sense of community in safe ways. The organizations are a go, um, but how they socialize is will will look different. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, our our students um, are really incredible leaders. Um, we have an incre incredibly smart uh, group of, of um, men and women here at Millsaps, uh, and, and we have great confidence that they, that they understand um, the need to be safe and to do so in a responsible way. Now, late last week, the Southern Athletic Association, of which Millsaps is a member, announced there would be no conference athletics this fall. The conference, and uh, they do hope, the conference and Millsaps hope to support fall sports during the spring semester.